everyone, thank you for joining. Um, we are about to do some of the activities that were set out in the exhibition, the International Year of the Nurse and Midwife. Um, as most of you know, the exhibition closed after two weeks, so we thought you would improvise and go online. So this activity here is um, making nurses caps. So nurses caps were part of the uniform um, for many years and most people that see a picture or recognize a picture of a nurse is traditionally with um, a cap or a veil. And so the one that we're doing today is a, a printed one. These are two examples of the ones that we've done. So traditionally this type of cap and they change everywhere. So um, all over the world um, at some stage in history where nurses wore a cap. Um, this shape um, was traditionally one of the student nurses and um, they would wear these until they became a registered nurse. So you could tell um, what year they had um, been in their studies. So often um, they were first given a cap like this and then once they finished um, their first year they would actually have a stripe and then a second stripe and then they would advance to a different type of um, hat. Um, but these were um, made obsolete as um, in the 70s, 80s, when they saw a lot more male nurses coming in. Um, so they wanted to keep it unisex and they um, did away with the caps. And um, I believe they, that they replaced that with a pin so that everyone um, could also recognise um, their level of nursing. So I made this one um, for all different age groups, so whether you're young or older, and um, there are lots of different styles. You don't have to stay to the two styles that I've done. So I'll talk you through um, this one here that we're using um, with coloured paper and pen and some magazines. Um, you can pretty much just you know color it in however you want to um, this one here is a little bit more elaborate I've actually been doing some lessons on Mandela um, markings so you might like to um, have a go at doing one of those first and then add it to um, add it to your nurses caps but we would love to see what you've come up with so um, please check out the link below to how you can take a photo and share it with everyone So to start with your nursing cap, what you need to do is print it out um, using the, there's a file included down below if you print that out. If you're lucky enough to have an A3 printer, it's, um, it's a great size to actually fit on your head. Um, but if you only have an A4 size printer, that's okay as well. This one here I've done bigger and it's in the A3. So first of all, this one here we're going to actually do with coloured paper. So have a look around. You can use any, um, any type of coloured paper that you have, scrap paper, um, anything that you can find. I was lucky enough to have some different colours um, ready to go. Um, but you can also just grab some magazines that have some bright colours as well. So I've just cut these out of um, a gardening magazine so they've got lots of nice bright colours as well. So first of all what we'll do is um, once you've printed it out you'll actually need a pair of scissors as well. So just check with mum and dad to um, whether you're allowed to use scissors or if you can ask them to cut it out for you as well. So what you're going to do is just cut around the outline, the outside of the design just take it nice and slow you don't have to be in a hurry you've got plenty of time even if you want to pause the video and then if you need to go and get all those bits and pieces you can do that as well so just press pause and then come back when you're ready when you've got your bits and pieces to go Thank you. 
So we're just going to put this piece off to the side and then it depends. You can, you can decorate. What we're going to do is actually decorate the top half of it. So this bit will actually fold back and that's the bit that sits up. So we're actually going to just decorate this area in here. So you can decorate it however you like. But on this one, I'm actually going to create some flowers similar to the design that was in the exhibition um, at the front of the art gallery. So it's nice and bright colors and flowers in there. Um, but you can do whatever you like. So we're just looking at things that you might have at home to help you do these designs. So I've actually found some money. So if you can find any coins, so we've got a 50 cents, a 20 cents, a 10 cents and a 5 cents. So they're really good because they're circles of all different sizes except for the 50 cent piece. Um, but they fit inside each other just like that. So they're easy once we cut them out to have the different circles at different colours. So we're just going to trace around it with a pencil. You don't have a pencil, anything that's going to make a mark, whether it's a felt pen or whatever. Sometimes it's easier to see. So people that are using some paper, you can do exactly the same thing. So you might like to cut it over a certain range of colours that you have or a purple in there. But it's actually easier if you find a felt pen to see it because it's going to be a little bit hard to see a pencil mark on there. So if you want to like go up here to some lighter colours. And just hold your finger on there and go around the outside just like that. And a little tip when you're cutting out circles and if it's on this big piece of paper is to cut out a big shape first. So then that way all of the paper is not in the road and you've only got a small part that you're cutting out with. is grabbed a 50 cent coin and then tilt it up and then went around the outside to get an idea just so that the leaves are roughly around the same size but then what I've done is at the top of the 50 cent piece I've put a little mark and then at the bottom of the 50 cents piece I've put another mark and then what I did was just start there and went wider and ended up at that dot at the bottom just like that and then try and do the same on the other side and that's a great idea to do a leaf that is the same on each side so once you've done one of these it's actually easy just to use that as a template Now that you've got that one, if you didn't want to have to do the 50 cent piece all the time, you can just lay this one down and trace out around that one. So we're going to put one lot of the flowers together now. So with this one, what we're going to do so we've got the bigger one that'll go on the bottom, but this one here we're going to fold the flower in half. So it's like a semicircle, and then turn it this way, and you're going to fold it in half again. So it looks like a big fat ice cream cone. A little corner off there and a little corner off there. 
to show you that. See that? It's pretty much just we're just going to cut the edge off of it. Just like that. And just like that. So when we open it up. going to have more of a little petal so if you wanted to have more petals around the outside as well you can do the same thing but you fold it in half and then you fold it in half this would be trickier with your smaller one but then we're going to fold it in half again it's very tricky just like that so it's even smaller than the one before and if you need to you can draw a pencil but you can just get the scissors and do a little cut off of the edge there and a little cut off of the next edge. So when we open this one up we have more petals, so more petals than the one before. to do and this is our bottom piece so we're going to leave that bottom piece there and then this is the second size so on the back of it what we're going to do is grab some of your glue it might take a little bit to get your glue out and then you're going to put that try and put it roughly in the middle actually turn see how these ones fit the same if you turn it just slightly so that the petals are showing more color just like that and then we can grab our leaves before we put our leaves and glue them under you might like to do a couple of lines so in the middle of a leaf is normally a vein so let's just draw and join up in the middle and then we start off small and go to the outside and exactly the same point on the other side and go to the next point. So if you do that all the way up and it's kind of like a V shape. So don't go, don't go straight across, go down like a, a V shape and then that's your leaf. You can also do a little outline if you like and go around the edge. So that's why it's really good to have some paper underneath because otherwise you will be drawing on the table, which your mum and dad. So then what you're going to do is you're just going to have a little bit tucked under. So if you put glue stick just at the end just at the end of that one and then you're going to place them on top Oops. and on top like that and there you go then we have our first flower so you can do flowers of all different colors the top of your piece like that so they can fit in find a place where it's going to fit in really well and then once you've done quite a few you can glue them on just like that. So keep going and then 
try not to go over the cross here if you can leave that um, bit. I've gone along and filled up most of um, the area at the top here and just be careful it's always good so where you've got this leaf here that you cut it um, along right up against the line it'll just make this thank you and the cross stand out a lot more and then um, I don't like a lot of white spaces in my artwork so I thought I might fill in um, in and around the leaves and the flowers with some dots and I've just used um, a darker purple like I have in some of the flowers here so your dots can just be random So that's pretty much that one finished. So I'm just going to show you, this one's um, a little bit tricky and um, what I'll do is actually put a link down below. We've actually been doing some little videos on um, drawing mandalas and they're, um, they seem to be a really complex looking um, drawing or pattern, but they are really quite easy once you do step by step. So this is one of them that I've done there you can actually create them on the space that's up in here as well or if you've done a couple you can actually cut them out so um, I might just use one of them now so they all work off um, a circle so what I'm going to do with this one is actually cut it in half so we can see that it's half in that way Just like that and then so then we're going to cut it in quarters again just like that and then around the edge of the circle So we've got a quarter and we're just lining it up along there and we're going to work out because we want to cut out this part of it as well so we're going to um, I'm just going to use a different color pen felt pen so I can see where it is so we're going to cut about there to about there and then we need to know how deep that is so we're just going to roughly lift up so that we can see it and it's about there. And it's about there. So I'm just going to grab the scissors and then cut to those dots. And then cut to that dot there and then cut the rectangle out so then it should fit in like that so you're going to do the same on the other side and then we're actually going to glue that in as well so you can actually do this um, once you if you wanted to start another one straight onto the paper over here Then pretty much what you'll do is just make a guide for half of that into there and then we're just going to halve that again just so that um, the segments are equal. turn that upside down it's just going to be easier to work with so you can rub your um, pencil out later on but I'm just going over now with a um, 
sticker pen. So I'm just going to do a really basic one quickly, but um, if you're wanting to learn how to do these, just go in the link below. It'll take you to a link um, where it can teach you to do some um, different designs in there. So the segments are like a guide so that you can get them even in each, um, each area. Okay, so there we go. Um, we've glued some of a previous one onto there, making sure we cut out around the thank you. And then I've drawn straight onto there with the bits that um, were missing in there. So same thing, um, putting this guy together as the other one. We fold this line back. Holding it back as per the instructions on there and then fold this line up first and then folding the two outside lines up just like that and then we're just going to grab these two outside ones and bring them together. Get them stuck in there. And so you can you can sticky tape that on there, or you can glue it. Or if you've got a stapler, which is nice and easy, you can give that a staple in the middle. Um, so you can pretty much um, cover it with whatever. Um, you've got at home or with whatever type of artwork you like doing you can just um, use paints or colored in pencils um, that design there is quite contrasting can only imagine a nurse coming down the corridor um, with that on a head I think it would um, definitely turn some heads but yeah enjoy please make sure you share your um, nurses caps with us with the art gallery and the exhibition being closed and by putting it online it actually gives us a wider audience so I would love it if you could like or, or put a comment down below but please share it with um, your friends and family or if you know um, children that need some activities and um, would like to do it so please share um, at this rate we can share all over the world which would be very cool. Thank you for watching.